What's up, everybody? It's Joe from Complex. We're in New York City at Soul Stage with professional skateboarder, actor, and model, Evan Mock. What up? How you doing? Good. Going to do some sneaker shopping today. Going to see what he's feeling, what he's not, and then hopefully he's going to buy some sneakers. I will. Let's go. <laughs> Evan, I want to start in Hawaii. I know that growing up you were barefoot, you said like 98% of the time. Yeah. But then it was like outlets and like vans and stuff like that. Is that what was going on? Yeah, my mom used to take me to the outlet store, the vans outlet store, and uh, they would have like a buy two, get like one, like free or like yeah. half off or something. And obviously skating, you go through shoes like every week if you're skating every day. So totally. That was like the way for me to get uh, shoes before I got shoes for free. <laughs> and then like, was it like half cabs and like Vans Authentics or like what kind of Vans were you going through back then? <laughs> it was like half cabs and like Chuckalos. Okay. I kind of hate now. But half cabs, I like actually recently started skating them again. Really? And it brought me back to when I first started skating, so yeah. And then saw an FSR, you're 16 years old, your mom, I think, gets you, like, went clothing shopping, but gets you your first pair of dunks, black and purple. Yeah. And, like, you kept them. You, <laughs> it's some Nardwar shit. Well, you, no, <laughs> no, no, but you kept them, you kept them on, like, the shelf. You didn't wear them at first, right? I hung them up in my room, and I looked at them for, like, two years, and I didn't wear them once, and then I, like, grew out of them, and I didn't really ever wear them. Yeah, I just didn't want to like crease them um, before I even knew like about creasing or anything. I yeah. just like wanted to see them. Like it was more of like an art piece to me for some reason because it was just like something that I wanted for so long. So it was just like there on the wall. One thing I want to bring up, the Wallows. The Search for Animal Chin, you sk skated back mm -hmm. in the day in Jordan 1s. That's what they were all doing in mm -hmm. that classic, that classic video. Mm -hmm. What was it like skating in Jordan 1s? Honestly, it was great. I like the first time I skated them, they, I could feel my board really well, so it was just like, it made sense. So I just started skating them. I only skated a couple of pairs, but yeah, they, they work. Is it crazy that like Tony Hawk skated in Jordan 1s? I know he interviewed you for a magazine, but like, is it crazy to see like, look, we're in all this Jordan 1 section and seeing like yeah. those OGs skating in those? Yeah, it was actually pretty wild, but I like I like these ones actually. Yeah. When you can, um, they when, rip you, when you skate in them, yeah. it changes the color. Mm -hmm. So you can like earn your stripes that way, but I guess you can earn your checks that way. But yeah, Jordan 1s, like he, MJ playing in them and Tony Hawk skating in them. Yeah, all those things are like, they correlate so well with each other. I like think of them in the same because yeah. they just have got the same like headspace and like same motives and same goals. They all relate to each other. That's why they all get along. Yeah. Or they don't because they're just battling with each other. Just all the goats. Sports. Yeah. Yeah. All the goats. It's either, either like a, well it's either or... a contest where they get along, but yeah, it's cool to see like people like that wrap out because I think it's one and the same to be honest. Absolutely. One shoe that I think you skate a lot, I don't know if it's still your dream collab, but I found a few years back the Converse Fast Break. Is that still, if you had to get a collab, that would be the one that you would want to do? I would probably have to switch it to the Converse um, One Star. Okay. Yeah. So you were skating in the Fast Break back in the day a lot, and now you kind of changed over? Yeah, I've been skating these like Ben Raymer's Converse, mm -hmm. but if I had to do the dream collab, it'd probably have to be like, one star? A Converse one star, you're right. One of your favorite shoes, if not your favorite shoes, Black Cat 4. Just doing some Talk about these. Doing some Nardwar shit. I mean, but you always wear these. Yeah, like, okay, okay, yeah, I guess it's So, just, and yeah. do you have one pair that you keep or multiple pairs? Because like, I love them as well, and like, I'll go through them just because I feel like you could wear them every day. Yeah, just like a perfect shoe, right? Get these right now. Yeah. Um, I have two pairs. Okay. Uh, I gave one to my brother, so I guess I have one pair now, okay. so I will hopefully have two pairs after this. Yeah. Yeah, favorite shoe of all time. Favorite silhouette, honestly, of the all fours. time. The fours. It's just too easy, too good. You can wear shorts, you can wear pants with it, looks good, and it's black, so it usually goes with everything, right? And did you see that there's like a Nike SB that's coming out of yeah, like- Yeah, Costin, uh, Eric Costin was wearing them in, in Copenhagen, and people were tripping out because it was like the first like, Jordan skate shoe. Yeah. And people were like, what the fuck are those? How do you feel about that though? The shoe that you love, are you gonna try to skate in it? 100% I'm yeah. gonna try and skate in it. Also, I might do the same thing I did with that uh, purple pair of shoes I got when I was 13. 
And just hanging it. up. On the okay. Wall. <laughs> put it like the art piece. Yeah. Another one that I know you love, Fragment Threes. God damn, such a good shoe. Yeah. yeah. So the Fragment Threes. How do you feel? Do you have them here? Oh my God. Yeah, so Fragment 3s, talk about that. The one, I feel like the Black Cat 4s are universally loved. A lot of people like the Fragment 3s, but they're like not as easy of a sell as the Black Cat 4s, but you love Fragment 3s. These are also such a classic, mm -hmm. even though they're relatively yeah. new. Mm -hmm. I feel like these just look good on everyone. Yeah. Like you can't really not look good in these. Evan, you have very distinct style, but one of your inspirations, Dylan Reader. One thing that you mentioned in an old interview, the Gravis slip-on. Mm. And it was like how it came out and people were like, what is this, what is this? Like no one was messing with it. And then all of a sudden everyone wanted it. And then I was watching Epically Later and it's like Jason Dill, Mark Obla. Yeah, everyone was doing takeoffs of the dunks and stuff. And Dylan was just like, fuck that. Yeah, I, I think um, from what I've heard, uh, from Mark, he said that he designed it after a Prada loafer, and like all, always, like at the time, he was that was not a cool thing to do mm -hmm. for some reason. I don't know why, because it is cool. Yeah. But he was just a big inspiration for me in many different ways. But I ended up, you know, obviously looking up to him. He was my, my hero, basically, with skating and yeah. lifestyle, and also just being a friend. Mm -hmm. I got to meet him, and he like exceeded my expectations. You know when you meet someone yes. that you look up to and they crush your dreams? Yes. He like skyrocketed my dreams. That's amazing. Like, yeah, so shouts to Dylan, RIP my boy. Yes. <laughs> yeah, he's a legend. <laughs> Talking about your clothing line, you're getting into designing with Wahine. Mm -hmm. What's it like? What's been the like pronunciation, the pronunciation? Yeah, there you we know. Go. Listen, what's <laughs> been like the best part of like getting into fashion in terms of you designing your own clothes? I mean, I'm just honestly having fun with it. There's no pressure. There's no deadlines. Um, it's kind of the reason why I started my own company is mm -hmm. just to have that creative outlet, have that creative expression, and put out stuff that I want to make and put it out ne never or yeah. tomorrow. <laughs> well, we talked about everything. Now's the easy part. Browse the shelves, see what you're gonna take home. I already know what I'm gonna take home. Let's do it. <laughs> I think I'm gonna get these ones here. That's dope. Yeah, classics. I think I'm gonna get the black hats. These uh, classics, my favorite shoe of all time. Sounds dope. You can never have too many of those. Facts. <laughs> Last but not least, I'm gonna get these Brazilian joints here. These are fire. Shout out to Brazil. Facts. <laughs> What's up, bro? How you doing today? I'm good, I'm good. Everything good? Yeah. So your total for all these four would be 2,515 on one cent. God damn it. All right, here you go. <laughs> It's the price we pay, huh? You all right? Thanks, mate. Get these bags for you. Here you go, man. Thank you, my G. I'll see yeah. you on the other side. Of course, man. So, Evan came through, got some new pickups, told some great skate stories. Thanks so much for taking the time. Thanks for your time, my guy. Appreciate you, man. Make sure everyone checks out the clothing line, wahini.shop.com. Speaking facts.